Welcome to another day in the matrix, waters above crypto. Today's video is going to be a special one. I'm going to be sharing my top three crypto altcoins for 2021 into the beginning of 2022 when I'm expecting the next alt season to come to fruition. And as a bonus, I'll be kicking this off with an answer to a question I've been getting a lot lately, which is why is XDC Zinfin Network pumping? And I'll be showing you guys exactly why. If you're new here, we do cryptocurrency technical analysis and combine it with gamatria, numerology, and astrology to understand these markets. Feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated on when new videos come out. And make sure to give this video a like and share this channel with other conscious people to help grow this community. And for those of you that want to learn how to do technical analysis and combine it with Gamatria, you can join my mastermind course with the promo code in the pinned comment below to get a discount. My email's in the description box to get in contact with me for access to the course. I've been getting a lot of people contacting me lately asking if I could hold the sale price on the course until Friday because that's when most people get paid. So I decided to keep the promo code active for those lovely people until the end of today. And for those of you who've been waiting patiently to join the Patreon, the new month has started. You can visit patreon.com slash waters above to sign up for the Mastermind Community Membership. And in a couple days, I'll be doing my weekly Red Pill episode number 14, my technical analysis podcast. And in this week, we'll be going over Quant, Anchor, Telcoin, Algorand, and a couple other projects. And of course, I'll be doing the Gamatria Masterclass for the month of July in the Patreon Mastermind community. I'm looking forward to those four Gamatria decodes and getting to know all of those conscious beings that just joined our family this month. Much love to all of you. And with that being said, let's take the red pill. So we have XDC absolutely greening it to the upside and there's a lot of reasons for that and the most obvious one would just be the measurement of the days so if you go from the first day of the year over to today you end up with the 182 and when you look at the gamatria of zinfin network in the english ordinal cipher you get 182 so i've been getting a lot of questions as to how is this the 182nd day of the year and um it's very simple, actually. I haven't said this in, in videos before, so I'll just clear it up, okay? With January 1st, it's the transition date. So it's the 1 1 or the 11, which is a master number. So it's really up to the preference of the decoder whether they want to count January 1st or not. But I actually don't like to in most scenarios. And that would mean that today is actually the 183rd day if you wanted to count the first day of the year. But my preference is to not count the master number reset date and consider today the actual 182nd day. So whenever you're seeing in my videos, me use the tool on um, TradingView, it's because I actually prefer to do it this way. It's just my preference. If you don't like that, that's fine, but that's what I do. So this breakout for XDC happening on the 27th of June, actually. So if you go right here, you could see the 27th of June and today being the 2nd of July, which internationally would be written to seven. So this 27 number is looking pretty important. Now, for those of you that have been following my work for a while, you're part of my course, you would know that I've been um, talking about this coin quite a bit because it's getting a lot of um, action. And in a chart that, that looks like this, this move right here is called the automatic rally, the AR, automatic reaction. Now, there must have been an, a liquidity event a little bit before I made this video. When I was preparing this video, it was stopped at the 702 fib perfectly. And if you think about this, the 0 0.702 in numerology would be 72, which comes back to that 27. So we have the breakout starting on the 27th. We have today being the 27 numerology, and we had that uh, that noticeable rejection at the 702 fib or 72. And then there was a massive liquidity spike, which tells me that Bitfinex um, must have had some sort of um, huge whale selling a lot of Zinfin. So this is really interesting also because we are moving into the 27th week of the year in a couple couple days. And also if I add up today's date, I could show you this. So if I put seven plus two plus 20 plus 21, we're getting 50, 
right? And that 50 actually comes back to this um, XDC, which is the ticker. So you have the 14, the, the 50 right there. And then also if I write today's date, like 722021, we get the 14 and the 14 actually shows up in XDC as well. So this is really interesting um, stuff that we're getting here. Also, another thing that we could do is we could type in July 2nd, 2021, and we're going to get a couple of these numbers to match. So we have this 21, which actually comes back to um, I'll show you really quickly that 21 coming back to XDC with the 12 again. It's always in reversed and mirrored and like Zinfin Network. I'll show you real quick. I have to type it out. So with the Zinfin Network, we're getting this 74, right? And this is coming back to the date numerology also like July 2nd, 2021. And you're getting that 47 as above, so below. So... Anyways, that's why we're getting this event, and I would consider what we're seeing right now a bull trap, meaning this move into the golden pocket, Fibonacci golden pocket, is indicative of, and also this huge wick to the upside. These are two signals that this is overheating and that this was a this is a bull trap. Anyone buying in this area because they think it's going to keep heading up in a straight line, um, those are typically people the whales like to trap, and this could actually come and roll back down all the way back to five cents again. Now that's not my opinion. That's technical analysis. So when you have your selling climax, then a supply test move down to the, um, sorry, this would be called buying climax supply test. This right here, this dip is a preliminary support, move up into a bull trap, then you get lower lows, or you could call that um, some sort of a dead cap bounce. Selling climax, automatic rally, and then after your automatic rally, you have supply tests, which could be supported by the 236. If this 236 doesn't hold, you're going to melt over down to the lows. The low support would be sitting right here around 0 0.045. Anything below 0 0.045 would be called a spring using Wyckoff, and that's very possible. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm saying that's the technicals. So anyways, just to clear that up this is what's going on today it's all ritual it's all in the gematria the numerology and the astrology that is why zinfin network is popping so let's move on to my coin pick number three which is going to be zilliqa and before we move into this if you guys could give this video a like or a subscribe if you're new here and you haven't already appreciate it so number three is going to be zilliqa and this is an interesting one because I've been talking about this coin for quite a bit in my Patreon, but um, one of the number one things that attracted me to this coin was the staking rewards that you could get, you could get over on Atomic Wallet. So you earn 14% staking, and then every 1,000 zil that you claim from staking earns you 1 gzil, governance zil. And um, basically back in April, I was telling my Patreons uh, to watch out for this massive cup and handle that we're getting. So if I keep it in a daily chart and expand this so that you could see the entire chart and zoom out you're gonna see that this doesn't look quite good on a um, linear scale but when i switch log you'll see what's going on here so we have this massive cup and it could actually be considered a inverse head and shoulders but i don't really want to get into that right now and what you're seeing right now is we are forming the handle. And I was telling all my patrons about that back in April. And I was saying, we're, we're probably going to retest the all-time high and then get, get a huge rejection. And it actually happened across the board. So it was nice to see this happen with Zill because it's one of my bigger holdings. And it was something that, I'm, that I've always been really interested in accumulating. Now, what we have here is this, this incredible trend line. So this red trend line, as you can see, it's the resistance before the spring. Then it was your automatic rally resistance. And and then it was your multiple supply, uh, or you could call this a sign of strength, LPS, sign of strength, LPS, depends on how you want to look at it. But all of these signs of strength were consecutively rejected at this red trend line, and then even the all-time high did wick up to it. So now this is what we're going to do as a practice to show you some of my upside targets, and this isn't financial advice. This isn't me saying it will hit these prices. Do not invest on these upside targets that I am telling you today. This video is for educational purposes. This is how I I'm looking at the market this isn't me telling you how you should look at the market take responsibility and own this market do not get mad if these things don't happen don't say these predictions didn't come to fruition that's not what this is about so with that being clear I'm going to show you some of my ideas here 
Now, for one, I do believe we're going to have a blow off top for Bitcoin in December of 2021. And then we're going to have an alt season following shortly after that. And basically, as the market cap staggers down, you'll see that particular alt do its blow off top at a later date. So what that means is things like Ethereum, things like XRP, thing, XRP is kind of a, a wild card. So we'll save that for another video. But when it comes to Ethereum, Binance token, et cetera, like some of those top 10 plays, even up to top 20, those are going to start their blow off top first in like middle to the end of December. And then we're going to move into January. And then like, you know, the shitties will blow off possibly as late as February. And then there will be some isolated incidences depending on how, uh, de like, you know, how suppressed a, a particular coin is. And that's where we get into things like XRP and etc. So save that for another time. But anyways, what I want to think about here is how in 2022, in January, the top of this trend line is going to be around $1.60. And that would actually align with this macro fib around the seven fib. And it would also bring us into around the uh, seven fib territory. So this isn't even that dramatic, actually, because sometimes in a altcoin blow off top, you could have all the way up to the 20 fib extension like really massive gains. And because this coin is in a three year cup and handle formation, this is not gonna be like a, a little explosion. It's gonna be a massive volcanic eruption for Zilliqa. So getting in projects that have previous all time highs, huge market structure, uh, noticeable trend line resistances that have been going on for years. This kind of stuff is the stuff that people need to put in the back of their head. You don't need to give a shit about fundamentals. You don't need to know anything about the project in and of itself. You could just look at the charts and be able to determine what's going to happen next. If you started this trend line back in June, you would have known because that was where I was buying. You can see my average buy in is around two cents. I, I expected this. I expected a 10x for my excuse me, from my entry. And that was where I sold my initial investment. And since then, I've been staking on Atomic Wallet, earning 14%. Back when I first started staking, I think it was 17%. I've earned a bunch of GZIL. GZIL is going to be incredibly scarce. So I'm really bullish on this project. And I don't really even, I know it has sharding and some of these um, ETH, um, you know, solutions to ethereum let's just say you know what's going on with unstoppable domains there's a bunch of things going on that i'm aware of but i want you guys to focus on the charts because that's where you really really can expand your consciousness in this market so what one of the things that i'm thinking about about this dollar 60 territory which is that january area of this um resistance trend line is when we're typing in zill we're getting that 16. Now, another thing we could do is Zillica would be giving us the 17. So I'm actually anticipating between that $1.60, $1.70 range being extremely possible. And it's not even an outlandish price target to the upside. It's about a 2000% gain from where we're sitting right now. So I am very, very bullish on Zillica. Now let's move into Cardano, which is my number two pick. Cardano is been it's been a monster lately um of course i actually got a pretty solid entry this was the sos right here using wyckoff and backup phase and then it just went on uh, moon moon mission territory and uh, what i'm liking right now is whenever i look at this chart on linear it's just giving you the middle finger <laughs> it's like the fuck you chart <laughs> So anyways, um, I really like the structure here, how we were getting this white this white trend line right here, which is the 618 FIB. If I pull in reverse, it's been a noticeable resistance. And then when we had our blow off, it was um, it was something we were actually talking about on YouTube. So you could go back uh, around to May. Uh, this is only about a month, uh, a full month ago. And uh, you can see, um, or two months ago, excuse me, you can see videos of me discussing Cardano and discussing the structure and how we were going to move up into those territories. So I'm going to quickly just type in Cardano and type in ADA. So with Cardano, we were getting this um, $2.30 area which is about that resistance that we got back here on that blow off perfect correction to the downside that number 23 is extremely important um we're discussing it for many of my videos so i don't want to harp on that too much but anyways one of the things that i like about cardano is the five percent staking that you get on atomic wallet and what's 
interesting about that staking on Atomic Wallet for Cardano is there's no unbounding period. So you can actually immediately go from the staking pool to um, earning rewards to instantly selling for USDT or if you wanted to buy another altcoin. Um, so we could do that with no wait times, which is really nice because it's kind of like the way that Vetho token is operating on Binance, Binance.us at least in my experience, where you're just keeping your VeChain on Binance and it's actually earning you Vetho automatically. And then you could just go ahead and transact for whatever you want. You don't need to unbound it from the um, from staking on the blockchain. That's a really nice thing to have especially while we're in the midst of a bull run and people need to be aware of that when we have blow off tops or extremely um you know big spikes to the upside a lot of people don't have two weeks or three weeks to wait to have their coins that are staking to be unlocked to be able to send to an exchange it's just a lot of hassle so i like to look for for things like that whenever i'm considering staking gives you a little bit of an idea of how i'm looking at this market so Anyways, one of the things that I'm enjoying about this chart is this purple trend line. It was a noticeable uh, support. And then once it um, came to the, the upside for its current all time high, it actually did try to hold it for support. But a rejection off that has brought it back down to the previous trading range. This is textbook. Now, what I'm seeing again, let's go into log scale. Let me reset this chart. It's looking a little wonky. I'm going to go into log scale and I'm actually going to look for that January time uh, time frame. And what that's bringing us up to is some pretty incredible levels somewhere in the $16 territory. So let's get it out of log and see what's going on here so that we could be a little bit more realistic because that's what I like to do here. I'm not trying to give you guys like these moon boy. It's going to go uh, 10, 10 X in a day kind of bullshit. So this purple trend line I actually like how around the January time frame it's running into the 1618 so the 1618 is the golden ratio and whenever you get supported above the golden ratio you quickly move up to the four spot fib extension so what's pretty nice about this actually is we're getting some confluence with all of these numbers so with Cardano we're getting that four three like three dollars and forty cents that you're getting around the one six one eight so again once that territory is passed you're probably going to be heading into the fives and then we'll see some upper price targets from there what i usually see in altcoins is once it clears the 1618 with support and gets a confirmed bounce it will head up to the four two three six Okay, so this 4236 area around $7.40 is perfect because ADA, the ticker, is 75 in the reverse ordinal cipher. So $7.50, in my opinion, would be um, definitely possible with a crazy blow off top that could go as high as $12. So that 12 I'm getting from the 21, but I'm also considering it because if I was to bring up these, it's getting you to around this 7 or 8 fib. And then if I go all the way macro, you can see it's about the 10 spot FIB extension if I'm going to consider all of the macro price targets. So if I pull from the previous all time high back in January of 2018, all the way down to the bear market bottom, we're going to see a 10 spot extension somewhere around the $12 range. And the reason why that 12 is so important is because it comes back to the 21, which is also in ADA. And Cardano is heavily tied to the Jesuits. Okay, so of course Jesuit equaling 21. And then with Cardano, we're getting that 56. That 56 comes back to the Society of Jesus with the 56. And the same date that Cardano released is the same date that the Society of Jesus was formed. So Charles Hoskinson is an obvious Jesuit shill. Again, I don't invest in these projects because I support them. I invest in them because I'm here to make money. This money thing is all evil across the board. Don't get emotionally attached for it. Don't join any armies or cults. Just invest in what the New World Order is has designed to take over and do well in the future. And I believe Cardano will absolutely be one of those coins. So let's move into number one, which is going to be T-Fuel. OK, so everyone's been hearing how bullish I am about Theta. I talk about Theta all the time. I'm really bullish on Theta. And yesterday we had the 3.0 mainnet launch and we've been seeing a sell off leading into that launch. And that's what's expected. That happens all the time. When I first invested in Cardano, it had an update and it had a huge pullback and I just bought more. So what 
we are in right now is actually some sort of a buying territory, in my opinion. Again, not financial advice, it's, but it's what I'm doing. It's what I'm telling my patrons that I am doing. And I personally see Theta actually going to around $80 at the end of this bull run. And that's about a 1,000% increase from here. So I do see T-Fuel outperforming Theta, which is typically what happens with rewards tokens or govern governance so far. So I, I see Theta moving up to 80 and that is a massive move, but this would lead me to consider around a $6.40 T fuel, which again, it sounds like absolutely crazy, but um, <laughs> I think it's possible, guys. Um, so my, my reasoning behind that is if I look into Theta Fuel right here, I'm just going to put Theta Fuel really quickly and then I'm gonna put T fuel and with T fuel I'm getting that 64 like six dollars and forty cents and with theta fuel I'm getting that 46 so that 460 to 640 range is totally in the cards for a blow-off and what we're seeing right now is a classic Wyckoff schematic playing out again we have the buying climax selling climax automatic rally spring and then creation of new highs after you surpass the automatic rally you call this a SOS or a sign of strength and then you move into a backup now backup wouldn't technically be what this is this would be called an LPS but I just like calling it the backup because right now where we're at in the bull run we're gonna have a long boring trading period all the way until around the winter time or until around the end of the year so that's why I'm calling it the backup but it just depends on how you like to do Wyckoff there's no perfect way of doing this you just have to be able to um, you know make good entries and know what's going to happen before it happens and using Wyckoff or horizontal trading ranges along with gamatria numerology and astrology is the key to doing that so back on uh, in patreon around the end of may i was telling everyone this is a spring around 20 cents and if anyone took my call on that spring it was around 21 cents when i said that we did have a move up of around 200 percent in less than a month so anyone who took that call you made a decent amount of money if you decided to make that play i'm really glad for anyone who went ahead and made entries there congratulations much love to you so i'm just considering a large move up for t fuel because i am anticipating a large move up for theta and because i've been thinking about the 81 dollar price in theta coming back to theta being 81 and it tied to Venus with the 81, matching all the same ciphers. So that move of up to 81 would put it at around 1,100% for Theta and for T Fuel. That move up to 640 would put us around 1,600 to 1,700%. Now, this actually isn't even that crazy because on average, there's a 20 to 50x return for most altcoins during an alt season. But because T-Fuel's getting up there in market cap, I don't want to get crazier than this. But, you know, I do believe these numbers um, I presented are logical and they're backed by the Gamatria code. I'm not trying to tell you that it's going to do this because of some technological breakthrough or some news that'll happen. You know, the one, only things that I would consider that would give a lot of bullish momentum to T-Fuel and Theta is if they both went on Coinbase and if they both went on Binance.us because that would pretty much open up the U.S. market, which has a lot of money, by the way, to easily acquiring Theta and T-Fuel. The fact that they've made the moves they've done without being on Coinbase or Binance.us is a sign to me that, I mean, just look at this chart, guys. Come on. This thing from the spring back in the C-word crash all the way up to where it is today is 31,000% gains. So it's been a mover. <laughs> And I suspect that having more on and off ramps for these two projects will allow a lot more liquidity to enter this space. So anyways, those are my top three coins for 2021 leading into the alt season of 2022. And the new month on Patreon has started. So my Red Pill episode this weekend will be going live and you'll have instant access to all the other Patreon um, 
exclusive posts I've made, including previous Red Pill episodes. I'll be getting into Quant. Um, I do believe I might be touching on Theta. I gave you guys a couple other ones like Telcoin, etc. I'll be going over over this weekend. Then we have the Gamatria Masterclass with the four decodes this month. Really excited for all of that. I'm really excited to get to meet all the new people that have joined the Patreon starting in July. And hopefully in July we could get another interview with another great channel, a conscious channel channel out there and I might be going live tonight we'll see but I would love to do a live stream hang out with you guys since the last one I had a couple days ago was such a blast amazing questions you guys were asking and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day in the matrix much love